What's up guys? So this is literally going to be a step-by-step -step complete guide on how to start your Google ad campaign and how to start making a couple hundred bucks a day all the way till what you can look to do to scale into other verticals. Now this is literally just for e-commerce. Um, and just to show you guys, uh, this is 40 days. I spent $35,000 on Google, but I made $185,000 back. And this is literally by building different verticals to build off of. We're gonna start with text ads, move to shopping ads, and then of course you have advanced scaling where you can kind of optimize it in there, which I'll be going over. So let's go ahead and get right into it. A couple things first, you need a Gmail account, and then also you can get a $100 uh, coupon. So you go type in AdWords coupon, and it's right here. This is the legitimate link, but then I found this as well. And I, I'm wondering if this works. Unfortunately, I can't use it because it's only for brand new AdWord accounts, so you guys could use it. Um, let me know if these work. That would be really cool. Um, so after you do that, I want to kind of go over the roadmap of success. I kind of brushed on it a little bit right now. But this is super important. Text ads is really where you want to start. Shopping ads is a game of SEO and you do not want to play that game until you know which words you're going to rank for because this is not organic SEO. This is like paid SEO, right? Because you, you can't necessarily target with shopping ads, but if you put the right keywords in your title, then you could target with shopping ads. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using text ads. I'm going to show you how to get super cheap clicks but also how to rank really high by manipulating your quality score. It's super big with text ads. And what you're gonna notice is as we're building our text ads, as you kind of, as you're running them, you're gonna see a couple just golden winners. You're gonna take literally that, those keywords that are just free money, you're gonna take that, those keywords and you're gonna put it into the title of your shopping campaigns, in the title of your products and then you're gonna rank for those keywords as well in the shopping um, in the shopping section. And so you'll literally be able to blanket all the profitable spots in your niche and what you can use Google for is like your base. And then, so basically text ads, we're gonna go and we're gonna look for long tail keywords. I'll go over negative keywords. Then of course, after we do this, then is shopping ads. Now I just wanna really briefly touch upon this. Display ads. Um, I know there's some people talking about display ads. I would not touch it right right in the beginning. Uh, I think you'll be spreading yourself thin. I've wasted a lot of time with display ads and I haven't found really a way to get my cost per acquisition below $50. And so it's okay, but it's not, it's not really worth it right now. So I wanna go over something that is really worth it. Like this is, this is what really helped me. The, the idea, and the idea kind of came from seasoning your pixel, right? A lot of people talk about seasoning your pixel. The problem is what I didn't like is the idea of buying data. When we spend money on Facebook, some people say, well, don't worry, you're, you're, you're buying data, you're learning about your customer, you're, you're getting closer. And I didn't really like that. But with Google, Google is a search intent platform. People search, people see, and then people buy. And I love that. And it is such a high conversion rate with Google. And what is also great about Google is it's all super warm traffic and it's quality traffic. So what I do is I put every single pixel on my site, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat. I'm even looking into Reddit. You want to have all your pixels on your site because all of those pixels will be scraping the data that Google is giving you. And now you're seasoning all of your pixels for free. And so what you're gonna be able to do with that is you're gonna be able to literally build out lookalike audiences once you get enough conversions with Facebook, which is exactly what you wanna do. You can even do lookalike audiences. Um, I think it's called act-alike audiences with Pinterest. And you could start scaling out into different verticals and you could really uh, kind of blow up your e-commerce store in a good way. And so uh, that's just kind of a side advice, but I really suggest you do that. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna go over here into campaigns. We're gonna click this, new campaign. Okay, now I wanna explain all of these real quick. Um, 
Google is a lot different than Facebook. Facebook, like when you're setting up a Facebook campaign, it, you have so many options where, oh, hey, do you want to do conversions? Okay, these are the people that are likely to convert. Oh, do you want to optimize for purchase? Okay, these are, and Facebook is just, think of it like a super smart, freaking crazy platform that's doing its best to try to turn interruption marketing into almost search-based marketing. Like Facebook is really good at that. However, Google is super straightforward. So the reason why they give you these options is not because it's necessarily gonna give you more sales, but because it's gonna automate your bid. And you don't want that. In the beginning, you definitely don't wanna automate your bid. So you're gonna go like this without a guidance. And then your two best friends, hang on one sec. And then your two best friends are gonna be search and shopping, but we're gonna do search right now. Uh, skip. Now, you can title your campaign however you'd like. Really doesn't matter, you can always change it later. Now, search network and display network. These are both gonna be checked. Uncheck this one. Display network, it's basically gonna show your text ad on the side of some blog that's gonna be relevant. And even though it is good, the cost per acquisition is gonna be a little bit high and if you have a low budget, it's gonna skew your data and you really don't wanna do that. You could split it out later, just do search network. Um, now, locations. So, you have just put in Australia, uh, UK, New Zealand, um, Canada, all that good stuff. Now, look, when I was starting off dropshipping, I did general a general store. That's when I lost a lot of money. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a branded dropshipping store where, you know, really the only thing I could pay for was branded packaging, but it was it was still something, right? But also, I had my supplier in the U.S. But what that meant was every time I would get an international order, it would be $16 to ship. So I would charge $16 shipping. So the reason why I'm explaining this to you guys is because if you are only in the US shipping outside to international, then you're gonna wanna click right here, people in your target locations, and you're only gonna wanna target United States. However, I'm now shipping from China and the US. So you can choose this, and this is gonna just cause some overlap. So this isn't important at all, but just to explain it, if you wanted to be super advanced and you have a ginormous store with a lot of people, a million visitors a month, you could then try to develop text ads where you're only remarketing to the people that have been to your website in the past, right? So this is where you can use that. All right, so now let's go over the budget. Uh, you wanna start with at least $50 a day. This is just to give all of your ad sets some room to breathe. Like, you're gonna have a lot of different keywords and this is going to be the best hyper-targeted traffic. So, with that being said, you need to at least have 10, 15 clicks to where you could see which ones are converting and to see which ones aren't. Now, as far as delivery method, uh, go standard and just keep it on there for right now. The only time I ever really do accelerate it is if, I, if there's like a big push. So maybe right before a holiday, I'll immediately choose accelerated. I'll have it blast through my budget so that way I can get all the conversions as quickly as possible. But just choose standard for right now so that way you get a consistent CPA. Now, uh, bidding. So you're gonna wanna click this little link that they hide on the bottom. I don't know why. Um, but you're actually gonna wanna then click this and then click all the way on the bottom manual CPC. It's going to have this check mark. You do not want to have this checked. Basically what this is going to do, enhanced CPC is basically Google's way of trying to do some automation. So you're going to set a manual bid, let's just say a dollar, and then it's going to be like, well, can I can I go a dollar 20 if there's someone that's really likely to buy? And the fact is, is that Google doesn't have any data on your store yet if you're just starting out. So there's no point to let Google just guess on who, who might convert. So you're gonna wanna really just do everything manual for now. And then uh, these things right here, uh, not as important. Um, site link extensions, call out extensions, they're, they're really useful to do. Um, what I do specifically is I put in my unique selling proposition and I stuff it with a lot of keywords. Google will then take that and put it under each text ad that I have, make it more relevant and increase my quality score. Now, I've been talking a lot about quality score, so let me just kind of go over how, how basically, I guess, it works. 
Okay, so let's just talk about text ads for now. Um, the way it works is Google really focuses on two things. And these two things determine how much you pay and where you're going to rank, okay? So if you wanna rank first, second, if you're in my position, there's like three, four, and five. It's insane. I have a lot of competition. <laughs> but it focuses on two things, quality and bid. The problem is, is that a lot of beginners and a lot of people that don't know Google very well at all, they, they think, okay, look, I'm gonna just up my bid and the more I up my bid, I'm gonna get closer to this to this golden spot, right? But that's not necessarily how it works. What Google wants is relevancy with the search query. So if someone types in best fat loss shakes for women, if someone types that in, and let's just say this one says ketogenic um, shakes, this one says um, uh, whey protein shakes, ranked number one, blah, 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 blah. But this one literally says exactly what the customer typed in. Google is going to favor this 10 times out of 10 because Google wants to be super relevant. That's why I say you're going to want to have exactly what this person is typing. You're going to want to have it in your description, your site links. You're going to want to have it in your title and you're even going to want to have it um, as part of your URL, which I'll explain later. But this is how you can then increase your quality score to a 10 out of 10. But why would you want to do that? Well, because this person, let's just say this person right here, this person is paying $3, right? They're paying $3, but their quality score is like a two out of 10. They're literally bidding for a lot of terms that are in their space and that is in their fitness space, right? This person is only paying 70 cents. Why? Because this is super, super relevant to the search query. And since their quality score is a 10 out of 10, Google is going to favor and rank that one higher all day, every day. And even though this person is paying a lot more, their quality score is dragging them down. And there is so much opportunity right now. And the method I'm going to be teaching is called SCAGS. It's called single keyword ad group. And it is a little bit time consuming to set up and it is a little bit hard, but it is exactly how I was able to completely blanket my competition, rank the highest, get the most search uh, share impression and uh, literally beat everyone out, even though they're bidding the crap out of it. Like they're probably bidding so high, but I could clearly see they were not really uh, following this formula. And hopefully they don't see this video either. Um, all right, so let's go back to here and save and continue. So now the next thing we're gonna go into is keyword research. Now guys, the most important thing for keywords is knowing your niche really well. That's why when I teach, I'm gonna be showing you guys, you guys gotta really choose a niche that you either see that you can have leverage with which I'll show you, I guess, in other videos, or it's something that you actually enjoy, okay? One of the two, you either have to have a lot of leverage or it's something like, hey, you know what? I love this, like I'm staying in this niche. I just, I'm so passionate about it, right? So for this example, I'm gonna use uh, this one because who doesn't love dogs? Um, and we all are kind of familiar with probably the um, bully make, what's the other one? Bark box. So the, the way I do keyword research is super simple, but I've, I've tried all the tactics and you really only need this one. You do not really need to spy on your competitor's keywords because I've noticed, and it's so funny, your competitors, a lot of them kind of suck at Google. Like they are not really that good. Um, I, I kind of went down the wrong path trying to find my competitor's keywords and bidding on them. And I ended up just coming up with my own variations of their keyword and it did a hundred times better. I remember I had different ad groups and I was like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> um, so it's called keywords everywhere. And basically what it is, is you're going to type in, uh, 
a phrase. Now you do not want to bid on keywords that's like one keyword, like dogs, right? You're going to want to bid on things that are like three to four keywords. Like this is one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to click enter. And even though it says zero uh, a month, maybe don't pick this, maybe. Um, but what you're going to see is you're going to see different variations. Look, dog subscription box for heavy chewers. I would immediately put that in. Um, but no, dapper dog box. I would kind of look at that. What another thing you could do is you can actually do competitor bidding. You could bid on different competitors, which is super easy. Um, good chewy goodie box. Okay. And you're going to want to just do different variations. Let's see if this one monthly box for dogs. Okay, there we go. And you're literally going to go in here and you're going to, you got to make an Excel sheet and start putting different variations. So for example, monthly box for dogs, monthly box for puppy. Well, I should probably put puppies. Um, monthly box for large dogs, small dogs, and you're going to literally find it step by step, then do a totally different variation. Um, subscription box, right? And just go on from there and you're going to just completely go down the line. And this is how, you know, you're really going to show up for uh, pretty much everything with a high quality score. Very, very cool. Okay. So you guys kind of get the idea. Now, um, you're going to have to do that for a little while, maybe about an hour or two. And uh, I did it for a very long time because I was scared to spend any money because I was already in the hole. And I was like, oh God, this has really got to work. <laughs> and uh, luckily it did. Now, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go over here. It's a website called Mike's Marketing Tools. And you're going to put in, actually, we'll just keep these. You're going to put in each keyword in its own separate line right here. So I'll show you, hang on, a fresh example starting from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to put in the keywords that I find. Let's just say I find 10, 50. You know, you, re you really want to find at least 50. And then you're going to wrap the keywords. Okay. Now, I want to explain uh, what these are because this is what you're going to want to use. Okay, so your exact match is going to be your super tight targeting. This is you telling Google, hey, look, I don't want any other search queries other than this, you know, I don't want anything else other than someone typing in monthly box for dogs, right? So that's your exact match. This is going to give you absolutely no variations. Phrase. This is where it's going to be like, okay, look, Google, give me exactly this phrase and anything after it or before it is fine by me. Okay. And the reason why you want to have both of these is because there are always different phrases and different kind of variations that you may have not thought before. And once you find something winning, you want to immediately take that winner, put it in a new ad campaign and bid on it and make it an exact match. Now, modify broad match. This is why keyword research is a little bit important, but gets less important when you use this strategy, because what you're going to do is you're going to put the main keywords. So for example, you're telling Google right now, Hey, any, whenever a customer has these words in their search query, monthly box for puppies, anytime they have that, I want to show up. And that's a good idea. That's a really good idea because you have four words in there. So this is your way of basically finding really winner keywords. And this is your loosest kind of targeting. And you're going to want to have all of these and you're going to play around. You're going to be able to bid um, differently or as far as you're going to be able to turn off the losers and keep the winners on um, depending on which one performs the best. So just for this example, let's say we choose this one. We're going to go over here. Boom. Default bid. Choose, uh, I would, depends on your industry. I would at least choose a dollar. Uh, you could go to 75 cents. Um, now we're going to go back over here. Monthly box for puppies. Hang on one sec. There we go. Cool. And basically you're going to do this. <laughs> you're going to do this like a hundred times and I'm not even kidding. Like 50 times at least I've done this. Oh my gosh. So many times, but I love it because it makes me money every single time. It is literally the closest thing I've ever gotten to free money. 
I mean, it's amazing. So um, you're gonna wanna make a new ad group every single time. I'll do one more ad group, hang on. Okay, so we already got this one, right? So now we're gonna do this one. Where are you? There you are. Boom. And then we are going to replace it with, cool. Boom. All right, save and continue. Like I said, you're gonna want like 50 of these. Now you're gonna create your ad. This is where it gets super important. Now, the easiest way to start and not like waste too much brain glycogen trying to figure out something creative. Um, first of all, your final URL is gonna be your website, right? Now, what I would do is see what other people are bidding on and what's working. Puppies love pup box, okay? Monthly treat for your pup, okay. I would keep typing in different keywords and see like what is, what's kind of, What's the pain point? What's kind of going on here? Why are people even buying this? Are they buying it because they want to spoil their dog? Or are they buying it because they literally have a problem with chewing off their furniture, right? And see what where your angle could be. I would actually go on Amazon, see what people are reviewing this for, see the negatives, and see if you can angle your product to make it a positive, right? So, all right, that's interesting. So that's literally what I would do. And I would literally take Oh, actually, before I before I would do that, let me explain something real quick for your headline. Before we get too deep into this, I want to explain actually the most important part. You want to match the customer language every single time. So if you're bidding on a search query for monthly box for puppies, the best click through rate you could possibly get is literally matching monthly box for puppies. Not only is your quality score going to be through the roof, but the, the customer is gonna be like, ah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. You don't wanna change that like literally at all. Like if you wanted to, you could add in a couple more words uh, here and there uh, just to make it a little bit more legitimate if you're coming across keywords that are kind of like, kind of sounds weird. Um, now with your second headline, this is kind of what, what I was talking about where you're really gonna wanna kind of copy not copy, but model and see like, okay, what's kind of going on here? Oh, spoil your pup, okay. Um, here's a little pain point, if your dog is a heavy chewer. Put that in there. Um, it's not really gonna make a night and day difference uh, which way you go, but you're gonna wanna actually sprinkle in some keywords again from your ad group, okay? Now, display path, once again, you're gonna wanna sprinkle in some keywords. So I would literally do this. Um, I would take one of the keywords here, two of the keywords actually. And you could do it like that. Or you could even do it like this if it fits. Okay, cool. And what this is gonna do is all of your keywords are gonna highlight in bold. So if you notice right here, monthly box for puppies, right? What's highlighting in bold? It's only my search query. Like, look, box, 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 box. That's funny, monthly box. What you are gonna have is everything's bold. So it's gonna pop out to the customer and they're like, oh, whoa, there it is. And so they'll um, definitely click through your ad. That's how I had insane, I still have insane click through rates. Um, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay, and then for your description, once again, see what's working right now and and kind of sprinkle in the keywords. That's kind of been uh, the theme. Now real quick, I'm just gonna go through this. Okay, so it's gonna say, great, your campaign is ready. It's still gonna need to go through a review. So it's gonna review your ad. Now this is super, super, super important. This is like not even the slightest sliver of what you can do with Google, not even close. The, the next part of this is gonna be um, when you're running this, you're gonna go into keywords and then under search terms, you're gonna see this flooded with search terms. And you're gonna to wanna to have your columns separated and segmented so you can see conversions, right? You're gonna click on conversions and you're gonna to wanna, to you're gonna literally look and see which, which words are converting, what's the pattern? Uh, how can I optimize this more? Then you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna look and see, okay, what is costing me money? What, 
what search term did I spend $15 on and it did not convert? And you're going to add that as a negative. And what's going to happen is your, your targeting is going to get tighter, tighter, and tighter. And so good to where it's, it's just, just printing money at that point. But it is a lot of work. You have to, you just have to be on it. And a couple negative keywords I would actually suggest right off the bat. First one I did was Amazon. If someone is searching anything with Amazon and they just maybe trust Amazon only, that's fine. Uh, just don't show my ad to them. I don't want to pay for that click. Another thing is free, cheap, um, kind of words like that. And you'll kind of, you'll definitely have a lot of negative keywords that you could put in. And if you have negative keywords in your head already that, uh, you know, customers would maybe get confused your product with something else, definitely put that in as well right off the bat. Um, now to kind of show you how much more you could do to make this even more targeted is guys there's there's a way where you can go into demographics you go you know you look at your ad groups you're seeing your keywords and depending on each ad group each keyword you could literally go in and say and and look at which demographic is converting the best is it ages 18 to 25 or is it you know, 45 to 54, and you could bid higher for that, lower for this. Oh, it's mainly males convert. Oh, it's mainly females. Like there is so much with each individual keyword. Plus you have, I mean, you could even go with income. Oh, this, you know, my product is more for people with super high income. That's what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to bid higher for these people, lower for these people. You can go into like literally, like I'll just show you guys it's crazy like demographics right here right so you could literally do a bit adjustment right here increase decrease and you'll see so much oh it's insane and you'll have so many opportunities to change it plus devices and my god it's <laughs> it's literally never ending it's it's really cool but it you know it's um it's just one of the ways that you can make this super profitable and absolutely dominate Google. I mean, I'm telling you, no one really uses Google correctly. They pretty much put out an ad and and then they're like, ah, oh, it's expensive clicks. And that's fine. But if you want to be super advanced, this is really a good place to start. So in the other videos, I'll be kind of going over, I guess, a little bit more in depth into Google if, if you guys would like. Um, but with that being said, I'll see you guys very soon.